Alright, what is up everyone? In this video, we are gonna talk about Zhongli, whether if he's worth the pull or not. Before we get started, we are gonna do a giveaway for the Mona video. I've got a 52k views. Uh, feels bad, man. Jules S. Kuri, congrats for winning the giveaway. Also, again, same thing. Join my Discord server, ping me there, and then we can talk about the giveaway. Alright, and then for the Bennett video, it had only been up for 21 hours, but it feels like we're not gonna get any more views for this video. So we're just gonna do the giveaway anyways. So, I guess everyone knows that Bennett can be a DPS. I see, I see. Because I didn't really talk about the giveaway, people didn't really participate into commenting on a video. But if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like the video to win the giveaway. You don't know when I'm gonna be doing the giveaway, alright? And then check all the videos out because I'm gonna be announcing the winners for the giveaways. Alright, so let's get the winner from this video. Aldrich, congrats for winning the giveaway. He says, Now I'm regretting not getting Bennett in the shop for my C1 and wasting it on the Claymore. Hopefully it's worth it. I'm so sorry, but the Claymore. C1 Bennett is gonna be so much more than whatever you can get from the shop. Feels bad, man. But join the Discord, ping me there. We're gonna talk about the giveaway. It didn't reach 100k views, so we are gonna be doing $20 giveaway. Anyways, let's move on to talk about whether if we should be pulling for Zhongli or not. So right now, this game is a PvE, right? So I kind of refuse to think that there is a meta or some sort. But I would say the most efficient way to do big damage is by using ice, fire, and water. Because melt and vaporize can help you do up to two times damage. And on top of that, you can crit. So if you have like 200% critical damage, then there is um, times three, <laughs> times two. That's equal to times six. That is just way too good compared to other elements. That's why as people were ascending their world levels, people stopped saying those physical damage is good. And especially when I try to do a showcase, I used very decent set, which helps you decrease the resistance for that element. However, you cannot do that for Geo. So all you can do probably for Zhongli would be Bennett's Q, and that's about it. So although Zhongli's Q has a high multiplier, so they say, it might be underwhelming compared to what you were expecting, right? So you're about to see some videos doing like 100k damage, 200k damage, and because I have set up a very nice standard for uh, what number are we looking for when it comes to DPS, I think you should be able to kind of filter out those BS videos and not fall for those. And good news for you, I'm going to be pulling for Zhongli as well, and I'm going to be doing a showcase as well, so that I can tell you whether if I think it can be a DPS or maybe it's a better version of Noel, or I don't know. So please, 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 especially for those F2Ps, please hold on to your Primal Gems until everything is sorted out and that he can be your only 5-star hero. For those of you who is collecting 5 stars, totally fine, right? But what matters is the F2Ps. I want to protect you guys. Think about this. Playing this game with no 5 stars, waiting until now, and then you finally get Zhongli. You're excited, right? You invest everything into that character, and that character sucks. <laughs> you know, that would be bad. So, and then we can also talk about the weapons in the weapon banner. Right now, I think the new weapon that's coming out, it has attack percentage. And as you hit, you get attack stacks. Okay, that's cool. And that is totally okay. People might be asking, oh, which one is better? I would say they're both good. The one that's coming out and also this primordial jade winged spear. Because it gives you crit rate. And also when you hit, you get attack stacks. So they're both good. And also at the maximum possible stacks, damage dealt is increased by 15%. A new weapon that's coming out, it gives you um extra shield, it gives you attack. Okay, that's cool. If the weapon gives you attack, then you stack critical rates on your circlet. So both of the weapons are viable. For those of you who doesn't have this spear, you can probably go for the new weapon. And also for the claymore that's coming out, I think it's kind of useless. Gives you more barrier, right? Okay. So it seems like they're trying to promote like Noel and those Geo characters, right? I had to bench Noel because she was underwhelming. Just simply an underwhelming compared to like other elemental heroes. If there were no elemental reactions, I probably would have said Noel is broken. But since we can do so much damage with Pyro, Cryo, and Hydro heroes, Noel just doesn't have a place to be. And even Zhong Li doesn't know where to go. So, like, especially in my team, I wouldn't know what to take out. I can't even use Ningguang. 
Ningguang is great, but Ningguang cannot create elemental reactions. That's the biggest thing that I have in my mind. Anyways, the best weapon for Noel is Wipe Blind, which is the one you can craft in the town. So keep that in mind, it's not that 5-star weapon. Of course, she's gonna get a lot of base attacks, but no, she needs defense. After she uses Q, she gets all those defense into attack. But for those of you who doesn't have Noel C6, you can probably use the 5-star weapon. It is totally fine because this is what makes her broken and what makes Wipe Blind the best weapon for her. It says C6, sweeping time increases Noel's attack by additional 50% of her defense. Yeah, that's why she wants to stack defense. So if you don't have that, feel free to get that 5-star Geo Claymore thing. It's totally fine. Also, there is a Claymore called the Bell. It gives you HP percentage and it helps you do more damage when you have a shield on yourself. If you have used Noel, then you probably would have noticed that her shield breaks pretty quickly. If you have a Boomer Hand, like me, you'll get hit a couple of times and then the bear is gone. So you can't get the bonus from the weapon and that's why it's underwhelming. Well, at least for me. So White Blind is the best. Um, so that's it for the video. I really hope that this video helped you out to figure out whether if you should be pulling for Zhongli or not and also for his weapon. I will definitely be doing the experiments on the stream or on videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for stopping by. So because the video did not hit the 8 minute mark, I'm gonna be doing some summons for the permanent banner. Hoping that I would get maybe Mona, Keqing, Diluc. Let's go ahead and find out if I can get those. We're gonna do about 20 to 30 pulls. Let's make this really quick. That's blue, another blue, and I feel blue right now. Oh, Beto. All right, that's uh, one pull. Thank you. again hopefully I'll get a gold you know it would be awesome to get a five-star hero I could also take five-star weapons but then I have a lot well I wouldn't say a lot but I have multiple of refined five weapons so hopefully I'll get heroes all right let's make this quick Another Beto. What? What is this? It's a Beto raid up. Oh, that freaked me out. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Two four star in a row. Okay. Okay, Sing Chu. I'll take that. So after this, I can buy three more pulls. Okay. You know, I've been doing multis all the time, but, but doing this one by one is takes a long time and I don't like it. But I mean, people told me that it's the better way, which I don't believe so. But it's good for me because it takes a lot of time for me to click, skip, and go, Oh, four star. Or, oh, three star. Feels like I'm getting a lot of four stars right now. Hopefully I'll get five star. No. Mm, I think I'm very far away from the pity. So let me quickly check that. Alright, so, uh, did you guys know that if you pull, then it's not gonna show up right away. It takes like, maybe 5 to 10 minutes until this page gets updated. So, no, I pulled maybe about 3,000 Primal Gem worth of summons. So, 60 away from the Pity. I have 2,500 Primal Gems, and that is not gonna be enough for Pity. But, let's do multi. Let's do one multi. Alright, let's go. Let's hope that I will get 5 star, hero especially. Oh no, that's a 4-star. Actually, I got two of the 4-stars. That means I can do two more pulls. Actually, it's three. One. Two. Three. Okay, let's not get greedy. 
Right now, we are kind of waiting for Zhong Li banner, right? And I was just doing this for fun, for your entertainment, because you probably had been missing my summon videos <laughs> at the end of the videos, you know? If it doesn't hit the 8 minute mark, they're like, Oh, you know, all of a sudden, this is not the content I've been waiting for. What? Oh, hey, you're summoning. Go ahead. That kind of thing. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope you guys have a great day today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.